Oh great, another episode. I can't wait to see what fun and amazing ideas the writers have for this one. Seriously? Of all series you can make cameos of, you chose this one? I'm starting to feel this season is going to be not as good as I thought. Bright light said it gonna set my soul, gonna set my soul on fire. Got a whole lot of money that's ready to burn. Granny's gone wild. What a title. Now, the main premise of it all, while very simple, set us to what could have been a good episode. Until you realize the school that was supposed to be the main focus of this season has only appeared in the premiere and a small cameo on this one. Trips to Las Vegas are always supposed to be amazing, especially since, well, there's a ton of movies about them, especially Las Vegas, which is the main premise of the episode, four old friends going to possibly one last travel to party hard and do as they please because they don't have anything to lose. I mean, they're old enough. Here, I thought we would see the same, the old Mers having some wild fun and activities that Las Pegasus could offer, but then Applejack appears as a worse ghost than the ones of A Night Before Christmas. At that point, it all goes down. Even the mayors admit that Rainbow was supposed to be the fun one, but clearly isn't. I can't help but feel like we always underestimate how old people feel. Like in this episode, they all seem fine and capable of dancing, playing games, and even... I thank you a bushel in the pack, you scrumptious morsel of frosted carrot cake! Oh, <laughs> thank you, ma'am! Yeah, even flirting with young ones, that was cringy. So Rainbow tries to sell them to sleep instead of, oh, I don't know, let them have fun around? Because that would have been a better option to ride the roller coaster. Speaking of the roller coaster... Oh, oh, jeez, oh, well, what are we supposed to be doing here? Re Relevance and Buzz Moddy, do you not understand? We need to do something while we're waiting for season four. Re Relevance and, and Buzz, we're gonna be, it's, it's all to do with like the, the social media and, and the kids, they like us, they like us, Moddy. What, what, what do you mean? Don't, don't question it, they just, they just like us, Moddy. And besides, you know the other reason? Well, no, Rick, what's that? Unicorn Puss, Moddy. What, what do you mean? Unicorn Puss, have you never heard of the legends? No, no, it, 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 it's like sticking your dick in an electric rainbow. Uh, that, that sounds painful, Rick. No, it's the best thing in the wor world, Morty. It's like, uh, you, you, you gotta stick your dick in a unicorn. We're gonna have to get you laid somehow, and if we can't get you a real woman... Then we're gonna have to we're gonna have to sell for for a, for a sentient horse. It's it's good enough. I don't like that sound of that, Rick. Shut the fuck up, Marty. Just just do it. Do it, you fucking pussy. And if you think that wasn't bad, just look at this. Apparently, we now know the identity of Floris' true father. Sorry, dude, but you got cheated on. All that love had to go somewhere else. Now, the ending is as expected. Dash gets into a roller coaster because apparently the grannies are part of a Golden Hoof exclusive club. So, what did we learn today, kids? Well, that being too overprotective is a bad idea. Oh, wait, it's not like Applejack already had to deal with that problem with Apple Boom, am I right? I really do hope the school gets used more often because this is starting to get ridiculous. If the point of the premiere in season 8 was to introduce it, I expected more episodes on the school. With problems around their students, around the teachers, not a bunch of main 6 episodes that do nothing but point out how flawed and bored the writers and animators have gotten at this point. At least it's safe to say the leaked episodes are better than these ones. But after that, unknown oh waters for me, so I pray to Celestia and Luna the following episodes aren't fillers again, and at least try to do something good with the main six, instead of antagonize them like Applejack as if she hadn't got enough hate on season 7. So my rating for this episode is a quarter moon.
Just because some jokes were funny and cringy, but nothing special here. You're better skipping this one and looking at Chris Alice's new episode, which is out this week on Saturday. So I'd like to hear what you thought about the episode. Was it good for you, or did you fall asleep like my boyfriend did? Let me know down below. I'm Moon Knight, and I'll see you all later. Bye!